a transcendent being lives here? Ugh. If someone lives here, then why is it so chilly? Hmm. I'm asking myself the same question. How strange. I'm quite sure that this is the location my mother wrote about, but surely... Hmm... I'm starting to have second thoughts. But since we're here, I still think we should go inside and explore in full. Yeah, makes sense. Who knows? Maybe there's a surprise waiting in there for us. So, um... What does the notebook say exactly? Let me think... A crane brings one fresh flower in its beak to decorate my hair, while a white rabbit sews a hemline from four rays of moonlight. Dressed appropriately, I face eastward and call out Tsubaki's name seven times. In the blink of an eye, I'm standing on the path that leads to her house. Sounds like a fairy tale. So your mom would do a little ritual, and just like that, Tsubaki would come to meet her? I have a feeling that it could be some sort of code. Let's get a little closer before coming to any conclusions. Good idea! on the agenda. Huh. There are some bushes on the rocks in here. Could that be anything? Did 
our Inazuma Deptus leave any treasure here? What's this? Huh. Looks like a book. It seems to be another notebook. Could it be Tsubaki's notebook? Let's step back outside now. The atmosphere here is different than I'd imagined. Somehow, it makes me a little reluctant to open the notebook. Hyman knows what you mean. Reading in low light is really bad for your eyes. <sighs> Come on, let's get back outside. Yeah. <laughs>